Hey YouTube, this is uh, Suck Sack Guitar 1, and today I'm going to do that tutorial that I told you I'd do on uh, how to get Opera Mini on your LG Kibo and uh, use the $10 a month plan to surf the internet with a full HTML browser. It's great. So, before we get started, you'll need a couple files. First thing you want to get is um, the LG drivers. So, Here's the link right here. I'll post in this the description. Um, it's uh, from Verizon, so you can trust it and everything. And uh, just go there. The download will start uh, immediately, and that's what you need for that. Just install it, and uh, you'll be good to go for that. Once you have it installed, download BitPim, which again I'll include the link in the description. It's just bitpim.org. Put the download here. Windows 2000 XP Vista, that's probably what you're using. And, uh, you get the point. I don't need to download it. It'll just start automatically. Again, install that. <clears throat> Once you have both installed, let's boot up BitPim. So just let that load. Alright, now that we have BitPim open, let's plug in your LG keyboard with the USB cable. Again, you should have the drivers installed by now, so. If the drivers are installed, install them first before you plug things in. Now when you plug it in, it'll say on the keyboard screen, connect from the PC using USB cable. Select no. Don't select yes. Select no. Alright. Now, down here it says, other CD, CD, CDMA phone detected. So we're going to have to tell it what kind of phone it is. What we need to do is go up to Edit, Settings, and go to Phone Wizard right here. Under Carriers, choose Verizon Wireless. Even if you're on Telus, you can do Telus too, it doesn't really matter, but um, LG. And you go VX9100 NV2. That's what you have. That's the keyboard. All right. Now we want to choose Comp Five. It should come up because if your uh, LG is plugged in right now, it'll come up. If your keyboard isn't plugged in, Comp Five won't come up. So you have to have it plugged in and select Comp Five. Don't don't select these ports. Comp Five. And finish. And OK. And one last thing, we must go up to uh, View and View File System. Make sure that's checked off. Now we can go to File System and we get this little uh, this little thing here. We want to open that up. It'll take a while. It's going to retrieve all the folders that are on the phone and show you them. In the meantime, we need to download something else. Please Google Opera Mini Advanced. Be the first one right here. This is the one that you need. Select your language, English, U US. And then download these two files and save them onto your computer. Um, save them onto the desktop. I'll do it for you here. If you can. Save file. Save file. Alright. Now I'm going to just put it on the desktop. So, these two files right here. And let's just drag this onto the desktop. There we go. Okay. Now let's go back into BitPim. And yeah, it should have retrieved it by now. Now what we need to do is go into Brew, under this list, click the plus beside Brew, then AMS, then number 12. Now the way this works is you're going to be replacing one of the applications that's on the phone with Opera Mini. You're either going to replace 11, which is Telus Mobile Music, or 12, which is Telus Navigator. I recommend to replace 12 because 
I um, highly doubt that you're actually using TELUS Navigator. TELUS Mobile Music is actually useful because obviously you can listen to music with it. Now what you're going to have to do before you do anything is go to 12 and save these two files, JAR and JAD. Those are your two uh, TELUS Navigator files. You want to save those somewhere onto your computer while you're, while you, where you'll remember them. So that um, if you ever want to revert your phone back, you have those two files. So you just right click, save, and select wherever you want to save it. Make sure you do that because uh, you don't want to lose those just in case you ever do want the application. Okay. Now, for the last step, I'll, if you chose 12, which I recommend you did, you do. Then you want to re rename both these files, the Opera Mini files, 12. 12.jad and 12.jar. So just name them both 12. Then what you're going to do is you're going to drag both of these files into them. Um, let's just make this smaller so I can do that. Alright, so you're going to select them both, drag them in, and drop them in. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it. And then these two files are going to overwrite these two 12 files. So pretty much Opera Mini is going to be overwriting um, Plus Navigator. And that's all you have to do. Now, you should have the uh, $10 a month data plan. Or it's not even a data plan, it's a mobile browsing plan, but that will cover it. So you just open up your phone, select Tel Telus Navigator, and Opera Mini will boot, it will install, and uh, should work fine. You can do all your full HTML sites here, and uh, everything will be good. Anyways, if you have any additional questions, just leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.